Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well right now. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Tally Starrow. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to put down the holy walk. Miss Flowers sent me this beautiful deck. I love this deck. I've had it now for about a month. Mm. So, you know what time it is, baby. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. Dong, presiding. You can all do whatever you want. So, oh, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy might be approaching you. It could be your own energy for all I know. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and we're going to quit it together, baby. Mm-hmm. Chain, 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 chain of food. Oh, my deck, this deck's going, it's getting weird already. <laughs> Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Mm-hmm. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pi Okay. <clears throat> okay. Show me the energy of the per ouch. That hit me right in the nose. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay, and we've got a couple cards. Let me make sure there's no naughty bits on them. I gotta make sure the naughty bits aren't there. Okay. Okay. And oh, no, no naughty bits. Well, 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 well. We got a sword here, though, so I better pull out my sword. Down on the table, uh, I have got the Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords, Two of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and As de Bastos, the Ace of Wands. The overall energy for the reading is the King of Swords here. Okay. And so somebody here is trying to strategize something here. <clears throat> right now, I feel like... Uh, blah, 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 blah. The Seven of Wands. Okay, so your person's trying to have faith and patience, uh, but they're a little bit guarded here. We've got the Seven of Swords here. Uh, this is working through this energy here, okay? This is all about deception. This could be spying here. And we got Dos de Bastos, Two of Wands, needing to make a choice here. And then we've got the Eight of Pentacles, which is all about working and perseverance. <laughs> And we've got the Ace uh, uh, de Bastos, Ace of Wands. So this is a new beginning, a new opportunity here. So what do we clarify first? Well, you know I like a good sword fight here at Talia's Tarot. So I think we need to talk to these Seven of Swords, and then I will run my pie hole. What's going on, Seven of Swords? Top to bottom, I don't know what that was. That was weird. Seven of Swords, what's going on here? Seven of Swords. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Karma. Yep, karma. I've got the devil, el diablo, and the justice card here. Okay. So, karma right now is coming back to bite this person in the butt right now is what's coming through, literally. So, why is karma coming back to bite this person in the butt? What do they do? Okay. Seems like uh, they didn't uh, finish something. So what did they not finish? What did they not finish? Nueve de espadas. What did they not finish here? Well, talk about talk about a finish. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, they didn't complete uh, a challenge, an adverse situation. So what was this adverse situation that they did not complete? Okay. 
Oh, the star. Wow. Something faded here. So there, there was something here within this person's fate here, okay? Literally, something that was faded, okay? That they did not complete, okay? With the star. So it was supposed to change everything. It was supposed to give this person uh, hope. It was supposed to give this person uh, rejuvenation. It was like a Calgon take me away moment. And they basically chose not to complete this. Oh, no, Pisces. I got to get some holy water. You guys know the devil drives me out. Oh, my God. Well, here we go. We got another karma reading. Wow. Wow. That's pretty impressive. I pulled the, the, something they didn't complete. That was the insight. And then I literally pulled the ten swords. Man, I love tarot. I do. I really do. Mm-hmm. So we've got the seven of wands. Okay. Your person's guarded here, but they're still trying to have faith and patience. So, what is this person guarded about? What is this person guarded about? An opportunity here, okay? Possibly uh, talking to you, possibly delivering you a message. So, what are they guarded about with this Ace of Swords? Why are they guarding this Ace of Swords? Okay, because the Knight of Swords. Wow. Okay. So they're protecting a truth. They're protecting a truth. This is pretty insane. I've got the Knight of Swords with the Ace of Swords. And Knights are all about protection. So they're protecting a truth here. Let's find out what this truth they're protecting. What is this truth they're protecting? Let's go. Come on. I'm eager to find out. What's this truth that they're protecting? Okay. Hold on. Okay. Cinco de Espadas. Okay. All right. They're protecting some kind of truth here about a challenge here. So what is this truth about this challenge that they're protecting? What is this truth about this challenge? What is this truth about this challenge this person's protecting? What is this truth about this challenge this person's protecting? What is this truth about this challenge this person's protecting? Okay. They got to get a different perspective first. That's why they're that's why they're hiding this truth. So what 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 perspective they do they need to get in order to not protect this truth? What perspective do they need to get in order to not protect this truth? Okay. Cies de bastos. Okay. This is all about growth and transformation here, okay? With the seven of pentacles here. Okay. Wow. Wow. So this is, uh, there, there's going to be a shift. Okay. Once they, once they get out of this, uh, this, this energy here, this, this growth, this transfer. So it's like, they're trying to figure out where this growth and transformation is going. And it's like, they're trying to have faith and patience here. Um, because they know in due time that it's going to change. Okay, so how's this going to change? How's this going to change here? What's that? Okay. Something's going to come to light here. Oh, boy. About this break, this rest period. Yeah. Yeah, something's going to come to light here about this break, this rest period. So what's going to come to light? What's going to come to light? What's going to come to light here? Okay. Is the five of pentacles here. Okay. This is all about this challenge. So something's going to come to light about this challenge. I don't know what it is. They're not letting me, uh, they're not letting me work through this. I don't know why. Okay, we're going to go right over to the Eight of Pentacles. So, uh, this is about perseverance. So, what are they trying to persevere through? What are they trying to persevere through? Let's go on here. What are they trying to persevere through? What are they trying to persevere through? <sighs> this is heavy, dudes. Okay. 
Mm. There's something here. They're trying to, there's like protective energy here. That they're trying to, they're, it's like, they're protecting something. What are they protecting that they're trying to work past? What are they protecting that they're trying to work past? What's going on here? What are they trying to protect? Oh boy. It's the Eight of Wands. They're trying to protect what they've been working through. It's just a repeating message here, Pisces. What the hell is this? This is nuts. Uh, we're going to go right over to those the bastos here and see what's going on with this choice. What choice are they making here? What choice are they making here? What choice are they making here? Okay. Okay. The Queen of Wands with the Knight of Wands. They're making a choice here about communicating something to you. Okay. So what are they going to, what, what choice are they making here about communicating to Pisces? What are they going to communicate to Pisces? Okay. Something that they found out. So what did they find out that they want to tell Pisces? What did they find out that they want to tell Pisces? What did they find out that they want to tell Pisces? Okay. Something has been completed here. There's an outcome. So what is this What is this outcome they want to tell Pisces about? That they found out about? What is this outcome that they found out about that they want to talk to Pisces about? What is this outcome that they found out they want to talk to Pisces? Okay. Knight of Cups. It's a message of love. So you're getting a message of love here from this person here. Wow. This is a pretty insane reading. I need some more holy water, guys. I got one more card to work through here, and that is the Ace of Wands here. So this is the beginning and the opportunity. So what is this a beginning and opportunity in here? What is this person wanting to give Pisces a beginning uh, in here? What are they trying to give a beginning in here? Queen of Swords here. Okay. It's like all about healing something. What do they want to heal here with the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Wands? Mm. Hold on. Where did that card go? Where did that go, Louie? Was that a card that flew out? I don't know. I thought I seen a card. Hold on, guys. Oh, I thought I seen a card. Oh, I did see a card. Okay. Okay. An opportunity. Okay. To voice your opinion. They want you to voice your opinion. Why does this person want Pisces to voice their opinion? Okay. Because they don't know how you feel. They don't know uh, if you want to make a choice. They don't know how you feel. Mm -hmm. They want you to make a choice. So somebody's putting you on the spotlight. And somebody's going to make you make the choice. Wow, that's pretty intense. <laughs> Somebody's going to put you in the, in, the, in the interrogation light and they're going to be like, Pisces, make the choice. Oh my God, Pisces. <laughs> Better choose well. I'm going to clear it off with the white sage, see what else this trucker wants to say, and then I'm going to grab some cozies. What else do you want to tell Pisces? Sure. Yeah, this person finds you to be very attractive. Okay, uh, yeah, this person is obsessed with you, and this person's got a lot, a lot of deep love here, okay? So there, there is a message of love coming in, but it's going to be, they're going to give you a choice. So there's going to be a message of love, and you're going to have to choose. All right, witches, what do you want to help Pisces with here? Sure. Okay, uh, it's time to write a new chapter. Well, that says it a lot to me about a choice. Wow, presenting you with an opportunity and you're going to have a choice. Wow. Uh, try not to be so picky. Damn, Pisces. This is correlating with the reading. What else? Okay. Ooh. All right. You have everything you need to do to do anything you want, Pisces. So you're getting something here. So this has been your reading. Tarot's adjourned.